basically closing this cycle once and for all is actually going to bring love in, actual real true love in for you. For some of you, this feels like it was the last straw or the last circumstance in terms of toxic situations or toxic relationships. This was the last challenge. This was the end goal for you. This is like you finally released yourself from this cycle or this type of relationship. All right, y'all, so let's get into this then. I'm gonna, gonna give this a few more shuffles and I just wanna see what messages we have. What love messages do we have for the disco vibe? Ew. What love messages do we have for the collective here? This one? I like this one. All right, I'm, I'm being told two more shuffles. Okay. Yeah, well, here's the thing about the Twin Flame journey, um, because I know I've started to understand that I connect, that I'm, I've, I've since connected with people, someone in particular, on a very deep level, and it's much deeper than I ever could have connected with the individual that I consider to be my Twin Flame or all that. Yes, this is a collective reading. Um, so the Twin Flame journey and we've i've said this many times the twin flame journey never really ends you're always on it it just depends on how you handle it and you have to keep in mind that we all have free will okay so it's not like you know as what i what i like to say or how i like to categorize it is how i like like to categorize it is um as long as you are continuing to walk a path of ascension, as long as you're continuing to walk a path of, uh, you could say, spiritual enlightenment or self-awareness, then I don't ever, I don't think you're really ever off the path. Whether the individual that um, you know you got into the situation with, in which you originally identified your is originally identified as your twin flame, is walking that path with you or not. I mean, quite frankly, even if they're not physically in your life, that doesn't mean that they're not walking the path themselves. You know what I mean? So it doesn't really matter because ultimately all this is really about is self-awareness, growth, expansion, and evolution. Okay. So anyway, well, yes. And that is one of the hardest things to do, to choose yourself. So I'm glad you were able to make that choice. Okay. So we have something already here. Woo! All right. So this is already a pretty intense message. So it does feel like in some cases there is an individual here or whomever is meant to resonate with this reading. Um, it seems like you've come out of the fog of seduction. You may have been in a situation where you were being seduced by someone. Someone was, you know making moves or like making, uh, showing you signs that they may be interested, even maybe telling you that they were interested and then turning around and not following through with that. Um, or something, something got in the way, something was getting in the way. And ultimately I feel like the illusion broke. Uh, you have the sword and the rose here, which talks about clarity, truth, uh, uh, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, and power. And then you have lightning, which to me in this deck is like the tower card. Okay. So, um, and lightning talks about sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, and transformation. But this is all in terms of some sort of seductive energies. And quite frankly, it, it, either this person stabbed you in the back or there were some situations in which you ended up being stabbed in the back in this situation. Okay, stabbed in the back was at the bottom of the deck, but ultimately you are rising from rising from the ashes. You're rising like the phoenix in terms of this. All right, I'm, I, I want to get a little bit more from this deck before we move forward to some of the Tyrell here. Well, the good thing about this, you guys, is... Um, the very good thing about this is I feel like you are not going to be getting back into that type of cycle again, because the next card that's come out here is coffin and it's come out in reverse. So the coffin can represent, uh, the coffin says, 
Endings bring, in, be, bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, and transition. The main, the first line from that card is, uh, is standing out to me. Endings be, begin new, or endings bring new beginnings, but it feels like there is no new beginning. There is no new start. There is no resurrection of this relationship, this situation, or this type of um, hi, Enchanted Mystic Oracle. Um, there is no resurrection of... Hi, Lisey, by the way. Hi, girl. I just saw you. How you doing, baby? Um, there is no resurrection of this situation with this specific person, but also there is no sort of resurrection in this type of energy any longer, okay? And I feel like you're really reveling in, the, in that because the next card that's come out here is Coffee Cup. Meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted and friendship. But savoring the moment and feeling uplifted is the strongest thing that's coming through here with this because it feels like a weight, a real weight has been lifted off your shoulders. And I also feel like you ending this cycle or you allowing this to come to, to, to completion and not really allowing it to happen any longer or not allowing it to um, basically just closing off this cycle once and for all. Thank you, I love them too. Um, basically closing this cycle once and for all is actually going to bring love in, actual real true love in for you. For some of you, this feels like it was the last straw or the last circumstance in terms of toxic situations or toxic relationships. This was the last challenge. This was the end goal for you. This is like you finally released yourself from this cycle or this type of relationship. At the bottom of the deck right now is love. Unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, and attraction. And even though this, even even though this card that I'm thinking of right now, which is um, the card, it's called um, self-indulgence, where or or healthy decisions. One of those two cards. Both of those are in this deck. That may not be here right now in physically, but I'm feeling that energy from this card of love. Because what effectively what's happening here is you are making a decision for yourself because you've come to a sense of greater self-love and value and self-worth. Um, I'm seeing like the five of pentacles energy. It's like you're no longer in that five of pentacles energy, that lack mentality, lack mentality or allowing yourself to accept things that are, are, that are less than ideal or are subpar because you feel like you're you have there's there's a sense of lack of self-worth that's not the case any longer and because you are loving yourself hey Dilo, because you're loving yourself enough to end this cycle and not go back to it not allow yourself to enter into that situation again and definitely not allow that person to come back into your life and try again or whatnot whatever you are showing a sense of self-love and unconditional love for yourself. And effectively, that is going to bring in somebody that really does have those feelings for you, that really does want to reciprocate, that really does want to follow through, okay? Five shuffles, this is one. And then we're gonna get some tarot on the situation. Hi, Jenny, this is two. This is three. I think I might use this deck for happy hour tonight too. This is four. And this is five. Morgan! Hi, Morgan. All right. Uh, closing the cycle is what I just heard. So I guess that's what we're going to be talking about here. Close the cycle. enough. All right. We have, I think this is the page of pentacles here. You have to excuse me because I'm new to this deck and I haven't, oh, I'm so glad. I'm so good. It's so good to see you, Morgan. I miss you so much. But here we have this, I believe this is the page of pentacles. This looks like the page to me. This is the jack, um, but it's the jack of diamonds, or I think, I really do feel like this is the page of pentacles, but before, whoa, Okay, um, I need to do some research into these cards before I really begin to use them. But I was feeling called to them. It's the uh, Egyptian, it's the Brotherhood of Light, Egyptian Tarot. I was feeling guided. Okay, I was feeling pulled, called to use this deck today, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, youth card cards. Okay, it doesn't really tell me. All right, that's fine. I think this is the Page of Pentacles. And if this is the Page of Pentacles here, 
then this is you starting a new level, starting a new chapter. And uh, Steph, that wasn't even rain. That was a fucking truck, honey. Anyway, um, this is you starting a new chapter in your life, okay? This may seem that your, your, your foundation, your footing may be a little bit shaky right now. And I even want to say, because I felt this while I was talk, speaking, well, talking through it before, but even the decision to like cut this person off or cut this energy off altogether probably was not the easiest decision for you to make. Because again, you're coming out of the energy of a lack mentality situation in which you would have given somebody like this multiple chances. Not anymore. You're finally done. You've had enough. Okay, you've had enough of the fuck boy, fuck girl types of situations. You've had enough of the breadcrumbing, of playing games, of playing this game of cat and mouse, and especially chasing. And if those of you that really resonate with the twin flame journey, y'all know many of us have come to this point right now where we ain't chasing shit no more, right? So that's really what this feels like here. So if this is the page of pentacles, which I believe it is, then this makes perfect sense because you're stepping into a new reality. You're stepping into a new way of being. And it does really feel like this is your very first real major step in this direction. Okay. So obviously you're going to be a little bit shaky. You might have to wear your training wheels a little bit. I like to say that about the page of pentacles, but ultimately the thing to remember is that even though you've made a shift into a new energetic vibration and this is fairly new to you and you're basically starting over or starting from a new place, that doesn't mean that you don't have all of the wisdom that you gained in previous cycles or in previous situations still under your belt. You still have that with you, okay? You're still carrying that forward with you. I want you to really keep that in mind, all right? We have, yes, oh my God, look, you have a number of cards that have fallen out here. I can't believe I did it either, D-Lo. Like, girl, I'm with you on that, okay? But look, the first, the very first card that I turned over here in this stack of cards, all of these cards fell face down. It's the Ten of Pentacles. And to me, <clears throat> while the Ten of Pentacles can represent ultimate wish fulfillment in terms of money, monetary situations, physical possessions, maybe even a family life, and uh, like a, a family lineage and longevity and all that, also, for me, the Ten of Pentacles often represents the end of a life cycle or the end of a circumstance. And especially coupled with the Page of Pentacles here, this to me feels like a graduation of a level up, okay? For sure, all right? With that, we have the Moon, the Two of Swords, the Four of Cups. Okay, and then finally, oof! Yo. All right, look, finally we have the Two of Cups, but the Two of Cups has fallen out in reverse here, which makes perfect sense because like I was saying, there's no, there are no second chances in this situation. This person or these people, ooh, okay, ooh, all right, what I just heard was these people deceived you. This person deceived you. This pe these people deceived you. There was some sort of stabbing in the back situation going on here whether it's from this certain individual or whether it's from certain this certain individual which is coupled by or was in whom was influenced by a group of people around him or her right there are no second chances here and This is a little bit confusing, but at the same time, it does make sense. Um, so I'm just gonna say it how it's translating in my head. You do have the two swords to the four of cups, but you also have that with the moon. And the moon to me is telling, is talking about not necessarily anything that's been hid hidden, but this is actually talking about secrets that have been revealed or a, a deeper understanding as to Hold on. It, it represents a deeper understanding. I, this isn't really... You have to give me a second here because I'm having trouble deciphering exactly what this means, but I'm also being guided to pull a little bit more to clarify. But uh, the strongest thing that I'm getting here is I feel like the moon is representing secrets being revealed. <clears throat> oh, wait, no, now I get it. The moon is representing... The revelation or the understanding of how you were in denial, or you may have been in denial, Two of Swords, of how this offer actually was never going to be taken up to begin with. Four of Cups. 
But now, see, but then here's the moon talking about you seeing past that now and effectively ending this cycle or ending this life circumstance because you're not going to give in to that any longer. Two of Cups is in reverse, okay? I am being guided to pull a little bit more, so I'm going to do that. So let's get some clarity on this Four of Cups, Two of Swords here, please, Spirit. Yep. Oh my God. That's exactly... Uh, okay. That's exactly... All right. Stop right there. Cool. Seven of Swords. Deceit. Betrayal. Backstabbing. And it was from a group of people. Three of Cups. Somehow, this individual that you were involved with or you were trying to align with or trying to get involved with, somehow this individual was influenced by, the, by their group of friends or a group of people that were around them. And maybe still is around them. Also, this... Oh. Oh. Okay. Hold on. <sighs> You're lying. You have the death card here, guys. But death came out in reverse. It's over. This transformation is done with. And actually, it feels like with the death card in re being in reverse here, it feels like the transformation that you're going through is kind of long overdue because I feel a deep sense of frustration with this death card being in reverse. It almost feels like you, you guys are saying to yourself, how the hell did I let this happen to me again? But see, at the bottom of the deck, you do have the Seven of Swords to the King of Swords. So I feel like you see right through the deception here. Okay, I'm sorry. Yes, that is the King of Swords. Yeah. All right, I'm actually, I'm wanting to get another, another pull. Because I want to talk about this death card being in reverse here. Okay, hold on. Oh, we're good. We're good. All right, awesome. So death in reverse. What can you tell us about that spirit? enough right there ah okay please give me a second you have to work you have to bear with me here because this is a very a brand new deck to me and a lot of the symbols are different so i'm having to sit with it for a second but i'm understanding what's happening I'm definitely understanding what's happening here. So death is in reverse, okay? Um, but death is in reverse because you're feeling frustrated with yourself to a certain extent in terms of how long it may have taken you to end this cycle or to complete this lesson. But what you need to understand is the universe doesn't see it this way. If you're feeling frustrated with yourself that it took you so long to end this cycle or transform through this type of energy, then that's mostly your ego speaking because it's the ego that is hypersensitive of time and wants things done in a certain manner, in a certain way, in a, within a certain time frame. And spirit, your higher self outside or, or higher uh, in a higher conscious state than your ego is very much aware that Time is very much an illusion, and quite frankly, says your higher self, I don't give a shit how many times we have to go through this. The point is that you learn it. I mean, you're going to learn a lesson anyway. You're going to grow and you're going to evolve anyway. So we could cycle through this infinite amount, infinite amount of times. It would not bother me, right? What you have here, clarifying death in reverse, is temperance, which is talking about that patience, that patient energy that the universe, the universe is the most patient being in existence. Think about how many different beings and how many different souls it is in command of. It is watching over. It is helping through their own ascension journeys. And think about how many different times they have to go through the same thing over and over again just to learn the lesson. I mean, you're not the only one going through this, right? The universe is infinitely patient, which means you have the capacity to be infinitely patient with yourself as well. But ultimately, time or ultimately this will come together balance will be achieved harmony will be achieved 
So love yourself no matter what. Ace of Cups. Don't worry about how long it took you. Don't worry about how many mistakes you've made. Don't worry about how many times you've cycled through this over and over again only to end up in the same place wondering how the hell you got here again. Don't worry about that. Because ultimately, just like we're saying, like, like you've learned the lesson, you've completed the cycle. So I don't even know why you're still so upset with yourself at this point, right? Okay. Oh, actually, by the way, at the bottom of the deck now, you do have strength. Okay? So to me, that's talking about um, the fact that you are strong enough to move forward from this, that you are strong enough to hold on or, or to, um, to complete this cycle. And it speaks to, it's a testament to the amount of strength that you've gained in this circumstance. Okay? So, closing Oracle Guidance from the Tarot here. Last message, Spirit, that you would like to give to the collective in terms of this energy. That's enough right there. All right, so what you need to know about this situation is you were dealing with someone that um, that was that's ego-driven. You have the King of Wands here with the Five of Swords. This was never going to be an ideal partner for you anyway. <laughs> this was never going to be a deal, an ideal partner for you anyway because this individual is too wrapped up in energies. I'm hearing fame and fortune. Um, and that can really translate into, especially since we were talking about a group of people around them, that can also translate into just the admiration and the <clears throat> respect and approval of, this, of the people around this person. And then at the bottom of the deck, you do have the Five of Pentacles, which number one is confirming that you were in this energy, but you're coming out of it. But also number two, it's confirming that this individual here represented by the King of Wands and the Five, and I'm sorry, the five of Swords is wrapped up in that energy as well. And quite frankly, actually, that could have been the energetic bond that kind of gravitated the two of you together. But it seems here that somebody has broken that cycle for themselves. So good on you. Yeah. Excellent. All right, y'all. I'm going to get a closing oracle message here from the lover's oracle. Closing oracle guidance. For this situation. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. I love you guys. Ooh, there it is right there. Okay. Mm there's another one. All right, so I'll get another one too. All right. There may have been an energy in terms of this situation. Oh, you're so welcome. I'm I'm very happy to do this. You you know that. Y'all know I'm so happy to do this for you, for the collective. This is this is like my main passion right now, so I'm happy to do it. Okay. All right, let's 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 take what we've got here. So it feels like this situation may have been a recreation of um, maybe trying to rush something. Take that with a grain of salt. But you do have this card here. It's time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. And I just feel like this is just saying that you really don't have to try to make anything happen. If something is going to, I love you guys too. If something is going to happen, guys. It's going to happen naturally. And in some cases, you may end up being blindsided by it because you're just going to wake up one day and or, or come, uh, come to become conscious at one moment and be like, how the hell did we get here? But that's just because it happened naturally. It just flowed naturally. So you don't have to really try so hard, right? Okay. Second card you, or last card you have here is if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. Yes? All right, kids. So that's what I've got for you. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you all so, so, so very much. I'm going to take a short break and pull myself together, and then I'm going to migrate over to YouTube for happy hour, yeah? Where we might do another collective reading. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. 
but if it happens, it happens. But anyway, if you just want to, you don't have to have to, you don't have to want a reading to come hang out with us over on happy hour. It's open. It's an open forum. Okay. So like, and, I'll, and there are a number of people that have said that they've gotten a lot of messages that they needed to hear just by listening to other people's readings. Um, so if you just want to come hang out, you are more than welcome to do so. The more the merrier. Yes. But with that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic evening. I love you all so very much. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading <laughs> very, very soon. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.